Two. Round two, five rounds to go, no score. Two falls to decide this. Finley, Belfast, Jones, Holder. Well, that's three times he's been told to stand back, and break the hold. We'll do for a public warning soon. Buck to the stomach, really vicious by Jones. Quick follow up with the head mayor and a double handed face bar. <laughs> oh, great whip. Lovely whip by Finley. I mean, the follow up, he couldn't resist that arm lock follow up. He's got to release. He's on the ropes, and it was an illegal move to start with. Well, that's just where Jones likes to be, really. Tucking from behind. It's always a comic in every crowd, of course, but uh, they should try <laughs> being in the ring against one of these fellows, two of the toughest men in the ring today. They take more punishment and dish it out than quite anybody else, I would say. Which, of course, is why Marty Jones is uh, world mid-heavyweight champion. And if you ever saw that bout, it's... Uh, Murfield Hall Croydon, where he defeated Bobby Coco Gitano of France for the title. The Frenchman did well, but Jones got it all right. And he's held the title ever since. He has defended it on a couple of occasions, but uh, I'd like to see his defense of his title on television one day. crossing those feet and makes sure that head's really locked. One, two, three, four. Well, already this, remember this is only the second round of this bout. Already pouring with sweat. Five, six. Putting everything into it every second. Neither of them taking a risk of going one down. You don't see the airplane spin too much. You see the drop forward on the knee. There it is, the face down knee drop. He's got it. But not too finely. Yeah, Finley thinking of turning his man over for a single leg Boston there. It'll be just one minute to go in round two. Tired underneath there, referee spotted that instantly. A real high jump step over leg lock there by Finley. But he's looked ahead a bit near. 30 seconds. He has to give up on that. Tries one final weakening kick for the sole of his foot. Oh, he's trying to come beautifully with the sole of his foot there. 
And right on the bell, though, it's left it too late. Peter Kingsnell, the referee, trying to get them to go back to their corners instantly this time. I think he's made it. Marty Jones has reached his. Well, from Oldham, formerly, incidentally, from Cheddar from Manchester. He first saw him in the early 70s as a young ex-amateur who turned pro around. Brilliant he's turned out to be. Seconds away, round three. Round three, four to go. No score. Two falls to decide this. Finley in his usual green tights One, with the two. orange stripe in the front. Aiming for a public warning. Lucky not to have got one already. Referee trying his hardest not to spoil the flow of a good bout by dishing out public warnings, but he's going to have to in a minute. But Finley continues that. Oh, yes, that forearm snap. Beauty. And another. And even Finley decides he's had enough for the moment. Good luck. A strength hole like this. Interesting to see who wins it. Jones turned it to his advantage by that somersault. Oh, yes, beautiful back. Oh, a really great back shot. He really came down from a height there. And Jones continuing with the back weakness. Control slam and the follow down cross press by Jones. That's a count of two only. One, two, three. Jones thought he was about ready, right to be uh, pinned there. Flying back in time. Two. Jones going in quickly for another one, but he's left it over the top and he gets dropped two. from a height, but three. not quite so high as Finley was. And a falling press. Jones holding beautifully there. Couldn't hold for three. Two, three, four, five. Blood coming from Finley's mouth now. One, two, yes. three, Just the top lip, I think. Five, six, seven. And again, that right knee comes down on the face of Finley. Three. A little bit dazed as Jones comes in with another forearm off the Oh, yes, forward. He didn't switch him so that he couldn't turn. Goes for the crotch over and slam the followed arm cross press as he did before, but still can't get a count of three. Nicely sidestepped by Finley there, but he grabbed the top rope. Fortunately for the ringside seaters, he grabbed the top rope to save him going right into the first three rows of the crowd. Oh, yes, the knee. The knee came up dead right. Perfectly legal to the stomach. A minute to go. More postings for Ben Lever this time again. He dodged nicely. Uh -uh. Trying a flying tackle. Jones saw it coming in time. And now it depends what sort of landing Finley's had outside the ring. Seconds right there with him. Doesn't seem to be too much of a hurry. Getting counted. And 
beautifully over the top by Jones. And again, a back move from Nicole Finley. With 25 seconds left in the third round. Now the full Boston crowd, about 15 seconds left only. Jones trying to get it on. Hit near the ropes anyway. Yes, he's reaching for the rope. And yes, he's got a break. He's got the break. Anyway, the bell will help Finley. Well, halfway through this part only, and everything they've tried on each other. It's quite amazing, these two. You've got to hand it to Fit Finley, who is giving away over a stone. A stone is three pounds here on the left. Just a slight cut on his top lip or the gum, I'm not sure, but he's not worrying him too much. Huh? But he's giving everything he's got against the more powerful man on the right. And uh, you've got to hand it to him. He's stayed with him all the way so far. Still no score. Seconds away, round four. Three One. rounds to go. Finley still on his knees. Three. And getting counted. Perfectly at liberty to take a count of another nine, of course, after the uh, bell goes to restart. But the referee will only allow that just so often. He can't do it two or three times. <coughs> Straight arm left in position. Oh, nicely timed by Penley. Certainly the Irishman doing very well here. Very well. Might spring a surprise. Saw that. Oh, beautiful drop kick. Took him perfectly as he came forward off the ropes. Oh, this time it's Finley that held him beautifully. Right away down with the crash. Roll over the top, cross press. And he's got the leg. He's got it. Finley's got the first one. And he very much deserves it. Just one minute, 15 seconds into round four. Thank you. And one minute, 15 seconds of round four. Referee gives the first ball of the contest to Fit Finley. Finley. Yes, and he very, very well deserved it. Superlative move there, got him, and he held Jones' left leg to prevent him from getting his balance to get up off that folding press, and it was a beauty. The folding press won it. Now, can Jones come back into this? Because he'll be pretty mad about trailing by a fall against this lighter man. Two rounds to go. Seconds away, round five. And remember that Jones must get the equalizer in this round five if he gives himself a chance to the winner in the final round. He's got to get equalized right now in this next three minutes. Come on, no. I think I said uh, three minutes. Next five minutes, of course, this is a round of five minutes rounds in this part. My apologies. Well, looks highly like a punch, but that certainly is treatment that shouldn't be allowed. Must be a public warning for this, surely. Yes, he gets a public warning for it. Referee gives the first public warning to Fit Finley. What else could the referee do? He really persisted with that move. This man on the deck. Nicely yeah. held, caught in a forearm smash. Beautifully as he turned, and Finley going on the high now. All the way down, but knees first, and landed on the left knee especially. Didn't do it any good at all. Oh, yes. Footwood drop, and again the left knee suffers. And again, the left knee gets it first. And it's, oh yes, it's a power lock. It's on the way, power lock. There it is, it must be a submission, surely. It is submission. 
But Jones specially, speciality, the power lock, and he gets the submission equalizer in just one minute, 30 seconds. And a power lock submission, the equalizer, blue corner, Marty Jones. And Marty Jones, having very cleverly weakened the left leg of his opponent continuously from the bell of that side of that round, finishes off with a power lock on the same leg. And that could be very dangerous for the last round from Fenley's point of view. Seconds away for the sixth and final round. Finley's got to keep that left leg away. Jones will go straight for it if he can. One each now, remember, this is the final round six. More treatment of the knee. And again, the power lock is on. If he can get that other leg through, no, he's not. And it's, it's Cole Murphy outside the ring there. Finley's, there he is, and he's back to us. Finley's tag partner. Didn't even know he was here, but there he is. And Finley was looking at it then. And Jones looked over to see what happened. And, and, and Jones has hurt his right leg now. So it was Stoll Murphy came to Finley's aid without even entering the ring. And that is a full Boston, and it's a submission. It's a submission. Finley's won it over Jones, two to one. One fall and one submission to one submission. Finley the winner in the final round. Just one minute gone. All because Jones looked round at Skull Murphy and took his attention off the action for just long enough. In the sixth and final round, the winner with the submission, Belfast Pitt Finley. Well, he did well. He was a bit lucky in that last round, but he did well. Could I have your appreciation for the blue corner Marty Jones. Marty Jones, and I would have personally bet anything against that happening, but it's a win for Fit Finley over the heavier Marty Jones, and a great effort it was by both men. Marvelous bout, but you've got to hand it to Finley. He got what he's been looking for for so long, a, a win over his adversary. And with that, it's goodbye from all of us at Crew. Have a good week. Till next week. <laughs>